Michelle Zakui and Alan LaFleur. They are Miss Teen USA and Miss USA of 05, is yes. that correct? Correct. So how fun to come back and do the red carpet events and everything. Have you guys stayed close friends over the years? Oh, she's like my sister. She was in my wedding in October. We're very close. We're like family. Our families are close. So it's cool because when we get to do events like this, we get to spend a lot of time with each other. Any chance we can get together again, we take advantage of it. Oh, of course. And you get to look glamorous at the same time. Absolutely. Right. So uh, after you guys won, um, what have you, your opportunities been so far for the past couple of years? Um, I'm actually studying journalism at Ohio University and it's allowed me to develop a lot of contacts in the field and sort of develop my communications skills as well because that's what I want to go into. Great. You know, it's so cool working for Donald Trump because he is the quintessential businessman and he's so smart at what he does. In fact, we just saw him again tonight, which was great because you know with him. But I'm now an entrepreneur and have a company with my business partner called Standout Productions and we do image consulting with pageant girls and professional athletes. We have a new weight loss product out. We're writing books. We're doing seminars. We really just hit the ground running and I learned it all from the best, from Mr. Trump. Right. And I've, I've seen all your girls have done well that you've helped and it's amazing what you guys can do for all those girls out there and just give them a good confidence that they deserve. Hi! Hi! Alright. Is Tana, it my TV Oh my goodness. Well you both look Doctor. gorgeous. Thank you. So how's it been so far for you? Um, very, very busy. We're so excited for Carrie for tomorrow night and we were at the beauty Yay. expo and the fashion rocks and Chelsea literally just got in right now and she had a rush over here so I'm really excited she's here and we're just excited to be here at Fashion Rocks. She looks gorgeous. Tell me, what's, yeah. what's the most memorable experience you've had so far? Probably coming here because I've never been to the Miss USA pageant ever in life, and so I'm just in awe of all the lights and all the just magic that's going on. It's magic to me, and I'm so happy to be here. Hello, Claudia. How are you? You are looking beautiful and I'm green. I'm casual because this is my gambling attire, oh. and my friends that come to this party, I'm like, but I'm not dressed, but oh well. Oh, you're in Vegas. It, it works, I'll right? I'll for it tomorrow. So tell me, what are your big plans? What are you up to right now? Well, tomorrow I'm going to be a judge in the Miss USA pageant, and Celebrity Apprentice, we go back to the finale on May 10th. Um, I've been I'm very close to selling my TV show. I have a radio show that I do on Sirius Radio. I have a relationship show, and I want to make it to a TV show. And I got a bunch of scripts ever since uh, Apprentice. Like, a lot of doors have been opening up for me. It's been good. That's awesome. And you're such a go-getter. I mean... Yeah, I have to be. I feel like I was not really born with anything naturally. I feel like I had to work for everything. But it's also, you know, it's really, um, it's kind of rewarding later on when you know you work for it, you know what I mean? So it feels good. Of course, you know, you got to work to get that success. And you definitely are, are doing great. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to do my best. I want to inspire some other girls out there, maybe in small towns across America, that just because you live in a small town, it doesn't mean you can get out of there and, and, and aspire to do whatever you want, you know? Right. So for all the girls that are going to be competing in the Miss USA and Miss Teen USA pageant, what would, what would be your best advice that you would give them? My best advice is this is a pageant at the end of the day, so you don't want to let it break your heart if you don't win. There can only be one winner. And if you don't, there's plenty of people that didn't win that went on to do major, major things. Halle Berry is, is the most famous one probably. And, you know, use this as a, uh, an opportunity to meet other women, to, to, to be better like with your stage presence, to learn things. Just use it as an experience. If you win, that's, that's fantastic. But if you don't, like still embrace this. It's not a loss. It's not a bust if you don't win. And a lot of people leave, if they don't win, they think, oh, I failed. You didn't fail. You made it here. Right. And it's, it's a stepping stone. It's absolutely a stepping stone. I'm so appreciative of the time. I mean, I didn't win Miss USA, and it made me, like, really, really try, you know, outside of this, to, uh, you know, get things done. Well, you're just doing great. You're well on your way. Hey, we're here with our good-looking hot celebrity guys over here. We got James, Troy, and Lawyer. So tell me, what's, what's it been like so far being in Vegas? Well, you know, Vegas is a city that never sleeps, right? So we're having a good time, getting a lot of business done. Obviously, the Miss USA pageant's going on, so there's a lot of buzz around it. We all look good. You look beautiful as well. So does well, everyone you. else. So it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Isn't it, though? I, lo I love Vegas. So I hear you're from Idaho. I'm from Idaho, too. What's, what's something that you miss? I mean, we're here in Vegas. What's something you miss from Idaho? I'll tell you what, it's tough going from the country to the concrete, so I definitely miss the country. <laughs> Although the big lights and big city is pretty cool, but I definitely want to get back home and do some fishing. Great. And you guys all have some great events coming up. I mean, what are you, what, what are you guys doing right now? Uh, right now we're doing we're doing a lot of just meeting people, networking and stuff, and being being a part of events like this, seeing some beautiful uh, people, women like yourself, and uh, just enjoying the whole atmosphere. 
Absolutely. The networking, it's all about who you know in this business. Isn't well, especially it? in Vegas. I mean, in the pageant business, in Vegas, everything is about like all the networks. So if you go to a club or a restaurant, you know somebody, you get the hookup. The lawyer knows everybody in this town. And so it's been really easy. Well, pass the car is <laughs> over. Here in Vegas, it's all about who you know. Right, right, for sure. The most definitely. I wore a different uniform for that. <laughs> oh, keep on going? More? Okay. Let's see. What part of Boise are you? Are you in Boise? I'm actually from Idaho Falls. You're Idaho Falls. All righty. Well, first season of The Apprentice when I was on there, I reached out to Idaho Falls, Twin Falls, and I became Woo! Idaho's favorite well, apprentice. How come you have an accent, but she doesn't? Y'all. <laughs> Because she's sophisticated, I'm not. I was the country pumpkin. But here's the question is, how come I was the only one with the 2.1 GPA, made it all the way into the finals, and I'm standing next to magna cum laude? I made it in the Pro Bowler, man. That's a way to represent Idaho. And why do we have an Idaho host? I know. I feel like Idaho's getting it on that's, that's good synergy right there. That's very good synergy. Um, he didn't tell you the story about the uh, the rope, how to keep uh, rattlesnakes away. <laughs> I'll tell the story. So my, my, my good friend Kwame Jackson, I was very nervous the very first time I went to New York and I said, Kwame, I feel like I'm in a bad neighborhood. He goes, Troy, you're on 55th and Lex. It's not a bad neighborhood. <laughs> so I said, okay, well, perceptions are reality sometimes. Well, he wants to come to Idaho and he says, Troy, I got my rope. I said, your rope? And he goes, for all the rattlesnakes, I put the rope around my sleeping bag. If I live in a house, man, you don't have to worry about it. Oh, I know. I get that all the time. It's like, wait, you don't ride a cattle? You don't live on a farm? So I got a question for you. Oh, go for it. You were Miss Teen USA last year, runner-up, correct? I was Miss Idaho Teen USA last year, 2008, okay, right. and I got fourth runner-up at Nationals. Fourth runner-up Nationals. So now, uh, now what are you doing these days? Well, I'm on three. I've done three major motion pictures so far. Okay. I became a member of SAG when I was 15. Okay. And, um, and how old are you now? I'm now 19. Oh my goodness. Like barely, barely 19. So. You've been in the movies? I've been in, yeah, I've been in three major motion pictures. I've been in two. Nice. <laughs> I, 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 went in, I was in uh, Stuck on You, me and uh, Tom Brady. We were the, uh, the computer geeks behind the, uh, the scene, and uh, I actually made Cher's butt di digitally uh, bigger on, on the screen. So that's me, me and Tom Brady. And then the other movie I, I was in was uh, Three Can Play That Game with Vivica Fox. I was her her uh, her boy toy at the end of the end of the show. Yeah, I got to, I, yeah I got to kiss her on the on the cheek. And the funny story about that is is that. Uh, I was watching in my in my theater with my, my family, my wife and my my, uh, my two daughters, and at the at the end of the sh um, the movie, I asked my daughters what they thought, and uh, my oldest daughter said, "I think you did a good job, Daddy," and my middle daughter looked at me and she said, "I think you were cheating on mommy." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Really good seeing you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Justine, Miss Universe 2002. That's correct. So how's that? How's your experience been so far after winning? Oh my, it's it's been a few years, and it's been a wonderful experience. I have continued to travel, uh, doing uh, work for several nonprofit organizations, and it has really enriched my life. And well, now I've moved to Los Angeles recently, so it's starting over in a new town. Um, and well, I'm I'm happy to be here and, and you know get to share a little bit of of you know Miss USA and and their path to Miss Universe. Absolutely, come back and reconnect with all your great memories. What was the most memorable experience during your reign? Um, I would say that my homecoming was very special. Seeing how happy and excited people were. Uh, about what was happening to me and what that meant for Panama to have a Miss Universe crown. It was um, it was really emotionally amazing. Um, but besides that, there's so many experiences, especially when you when you receive with with warmth and and open arms in a country that you've never been to before. That's um, it feels it's, it's wonderful. Thank you so much, and we just appreciate you, and you look gorgeous. Thank you very much. I'm here with Miss Stevie Perry, the current Miss Teen USA, yes. looking beautiful. Who are you wearing tonight? I'm wearing Rebecca Taylor. Oh, well, you look gorgeous. So how's it been being in Vegas and having to come back and you don't have to worry about the, the pressure of winning. You can just relax. It's been very, very relaxing, I must say. But I'm, I'm just anxious. I'm anxious to, to see who my new roommate is going to be. But I'm also sad to let go of a, of a very special roommate, Crystal. So. 
your experience been so far? What different charity organizations have you been helping with? Well, I work with different charities all the time, uh, with Best Buddies, Girl Talk, and um, Project Sunshine, so it's right. great. Thank you. I'm here with Diana, the current Miss Universe. She's looking just absolutely stunning. Who are you wearing? Oh my Thank goodness. Cavalli, 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 Cavalli. Oh, love it, love it. Thank you. So how's it been in Vegas? It's been fun. We arrived yesterday. We haven't had time to do much, but we went to Nabu yesterday night. We had delicious food, and then we went to Secret Soleil in Wisoka. We had so much fun. Hey, what's your favorite type of food? My favorite type of food? I, like, I love food in general. <laughs> I can eat everything. I'm lucky. I'm the lucky one for now. Oh, that's great. So are you excited to get your new roommate? I'm nervous, you know. It's kind of, it's a weird way to pick up some, some roommate, you know. I just kind of stay and smiling. And they're all beautiful. They look pretty. Yeah. They have nice personalities. And, and then all of a sudden they're living with you and you have no idea really I, who they are. I know. I know she's going to be great. I know she's going to be a good roommate. I just hope her to be clean. <laughs> you know, clean. That's important. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank You're so you. sweet. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, all right. I'm here with Crystal Stewart right now, the current Miss USA, who's about to give up her title tomorrow. Are you a little, little sad, probably bittersweet? Really bittersweet for me, but I'm excited to see who the next Miss USA will be. So, well, you, you've definitely represented our country. Thank you. It's been amazing. What are your plans? I'm going to go to the New York Film Academy. We have a two-year scholarship there, and um, maybe dip and dab a little acting, a hosting. You know, maybe you'll catch me on the movie screen. Winning an Oscar, right? I, that's what I'm hoping for. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.